All right, so as a nurse, you never really quit kind of looking at people, kind of doing, you know, in your head quick assessments. Oh, that person probably doesn't feel good. That person looks like they have a fever. Uh, that person over there is taking on water. Uh, you look at people's feet and say, ooh, they got heart failure. I hope they know it. In any case, uh, a young man, uh, his name was Cameron Boyce, he died. Uh, he was a Disney Channel movie star. He was in the movies, uh, the Three Descendants movies. Uh, he was in another show my daughter really liked. Uh, hey, Jesse, he was in that show. In any case, I was watching Descendants 3 with my children. Uh, they've watched it nonstop. But I noticed this, you know, the other day. We know that this young man died from a seizure. And there's one tiny little part. It is the, the littlest part. And you've kind of got to be watching him specifically to see it. Uh, it's when the three or the four of them uh, grab the fairy godmother's wand and take down the barrier that separates the two islands. Uh, in any case, you see this young man sort of grab over his eyebrow. And it, the, the scene, the part that I'm talking about, takes place within maybe two seconds. I mean, it, it doesn't take very long at all. But just the look on his face and the way that he grabs his eyebrow with the history of knowing that he died from a seizure makes me think a couple of different things. Maybe he's feeling the aura that you get before you have a seizure or maybe he just had a seizure and he still is kind of feeling the cognitive effects or maybe he just had a tiny little pseudo seizure in that very moment that very tiny little second that you see him kind of just grab his eyebrow and he just the look on his face sort of tells tells me the story and i don't know that anyone else would would get that i don't know that uh you know a, a nurse would uh no a uh, non-nurse would get that you know a person just watching the movie i don't know if they would see that or not i don't know if the editing crew saw it i don't know you know who did or did not pick up on that but it is it is the tiniest little scene and you just see him sort of grab his face and just the look on his face tells me, oh, I bet that kid didn't feel good right there. I wonder if he had some sort of seizure activity going on in that moment. It is also very possible that he was kind of meant to act that way, but with the lights going on, and you know, and, and it was probably hot. I know that they were or were not dancing at that particular time, but just the way that he does that tiny little grab, I mean, it's, it, it don't take much. And as a nurse, you kind of see it, you know, I don't know, maybe it's just me. But a nurse also picked up, if you've ever seen the show Flip or Flop, I don't even know if it's still on anymore because those two got divorced. Uh, there's a part in Flip or Flop where a nurse noticed that one of the actors, or, you know, well, I'm going to put in parentheses actors because it was a reality show, had a spot. I think it was on their neck. And a nurse wrote the show to get that man to get his neck checked out. And he actually ended up having cancer. So, nurses just kind of notice these things in movies and television shows. So, maybe you've seen something like that before. Maybe you haven't. Let me know. Hope it helps. Thank you much.